Hey guys, Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. We're out here in Ocean City. I'm going to try to do the best review as I possibly can on a John Skinner V2 SS Bucktails. Now I've looked all over the I looked all over the place. I haven't seen any reviews on these bucktails. I know that I watch John Skinner on YouTube on his channel and I watch the Jig and Jerks. Those guys, they just they hammer. They hammer fluke and weak fish and stripers and sea bass, basically whatever everything they, they target. So I went on the website, I picked up some of the uh, SS John Skinner Bucktails. This is what I'm using today, it's what I'm reviewing. This is normally what I go with. I got this from a local bait, bait store in Ocean City. It's just a plain bucktail. Right away I can tell the colors don't pop as much. Um, this is a bigger profile, at least the head's a bigger profile. They're both half ounce. So I'm looking forward to see if this bucktail outperforms everything else. The feathers are longer, that's the first thing I'm noticing. It's brighter colors, so I'm hoping it outperforms its competitor. They're both about the same price. John Skinner's got a code or when he's got a direct link on his YouTube channel. Um, I think they're both they're both around six, seven bucks each. It wasn't much of a difference, but you can go direct through them the link on John's channel. Now the way we're gonna fish these guys today, the way we normally do it, is with four inch swim mullet. It's been really windy. We got high pressure on top of us, but should be a front coming through tonight. So we go with our bucktail in pink. The water's a little bit cloudy. And we go with our swim mullet from Berkeley. I buy these things constantly. I might as well own stock in the company. I'm just gonna thread it on there. Real nice like so. Pop it through. And that's what you get. That's what it looks like. So I feel like it's gonna make a nice profile on the water. We're gonna swim this thing. We're gonna throw it out. The tide is incoming, so we're gonna throw upstream. Well, up the inlet to where the tide's coming in and we're going to make it look like it's a bait fish swimming with the tide coming into the inlet at Ocean City. And then when the tide switch up and it's out going, we're going to start fishing it from the other way. So just like trout fishing, fluke like a nice natural presentation, like it's coming in and moving with the tide. A lot of times you don't need anything that's stagnant or just moving with the current or whatever, or moving against the current. It's just a dead giveaway. Fluke are pretty smart. So I'm going to tell you, this day was a struggle. We got out there relatively early. It wasn't too bad. Don't get too excited with this clip because anyone that's familiar with fishing in OC or really anywhere in Atlantic is uh, summertime in July. You're going to get a lot of this. I knew that there was nothing fighting back and it was just dead weight. So I was pretty sure of uh, what it was immediately. And it's, it's a, a horseshoe crab orgy. You you hook into like multiple horseshoe crabs on top of each other and that's what i got going on right here and these bucktails are really good good weight they look real good they have really really sharp sticky hooks and i believe the hooks are made by gamagatsu and uh i'm about to lose my bucktail because i just i can't get it off this crab and then they wind up in the rocks so i was having a hard day this is what it eventually turned into. I'm jigging, I'm jigging, I'm jigging, I'm going with the current. I'm jigging, I'm getting little taps here and there. I'm trying to fish the, the rock edge still in the channel. And then what it came down to is I started just dead sticking it. And when I dead stick, I get a hit. And sometimes fluke do that. And now I've uh, hooked up on a fluke. I wish I had better audio. The wind was just killer this day. I had like wind against tide. I mean, it was driving me nuts. But, um,. It was tough fishing, and then some days when you fluke fish, instead of jigging it, you just got to dead stick it. They just like it when it's sitting there. And then, um, this is actually the first fluke I caught this season, believe it or not. And it wound up almost being keeper. Oh my god. Look at that. Just, oh well. That's awesome. It's a good start. Let this guy go. All right. Ugh. All right.
right, I got one finally. First one of the year, nuts. So this was all the way at the end of the night. I saw a fish crash in the beach. I couldn't tell if it was snapper blues or um, stripers, oh, but damn, I did lose a couple. I mean, I had him bite it, and then I just couldn't keep it on. I was getting frustrated. I lose another fish right here. And um, one of those moments where you just want to break your rod. I don't know how you guys really can tell. I thought, I thought that my other GoPro was working, and it's not. It's completely dead in my underwater. But I think the favorite part about this bucktail is that it sits flat, but it's almost like a shaky head. So it creates a big profile and it sits like on just a slight angle. And you fish the bait almost like a shaky head. And you got these gulp minnows and stuff like that. The back end sticks up a little bit. And I really like the action. And I got a lot of action when I was on the seawall. But I ran out of uh, the white gulp and that seemed to be what they all really wanted. So I only caught that one, that one decent one. Everything else, just a ton of bites and nothing much else. All right, well, guys, I wish I could have got you more action. Things were kind of slow today. Had a lot of bites. I had that one I was pretty sure was going to be a keeper. I mean, it was the evening. I really need to be out here early in the morning. But, you know, I, I didn't really so much come out to, cut, to really catch fish. I mean, I did, but... I really wanted to check out these uh, these John Skinner bucktails that they're always talking about. But I gotta be honest with you, uh, I, I am really impressed. I really, really, really like it. I am gonna buy some more. I'm probably gonna go with some more chartreuse in white and definitely some ones that are straight white because they're just gonna decimate out here in Ocean City and pretty much anywhere else you fish them. They're cool, they're reasonably priced shipping wasn't that much and uh i know skinner designed them and i know when you buy it and use your link you get a piece of it so i'm glad to help him out he's helped me out so much anyway thanks for joining me guys i appreciate it i'll see you guys next time